just wanted to uh, uh, say today to welcome everybody and for all your support and uh, uh, that uh, we're all here for our people and um, I just wanted to say uh, that uh, we the people are powerful and we the people have a voice so just never give up and do what you can to make sure that everything's um, that we always do the right thing for our people and uh, all across Canada and North America and this is our country this is our homeland and uh, our land and resources and um, our rights our treaty rights and um, for our children uh, future generations to come seven generations so that we always have something uh, to keep in place for our people and uh, water, clean land and water and air and everything that is all good for our people, for our livelihood, survival of our people and nations all across Canada and North America. Thank you. Nyawa. So there you go. That means hello in our language. My name's Betty and um, in our teachings, for those of you who do not know, we are to walk together equally, side by side, not one above the other, not one below the other, and not one ahead or behind. We are to walk equal. There is no one person greater than the other. And if we all unite, no matter what nationality we are, and stand against what is wrong, we have made a great ally. And when the government comes for you, to pull this stuff on you, then you will have made a great ally. So we should stand together. And we have to also think about the children, our generations to come, to preserve what we have. And our people are people of consensus. The court system is not our way. We do not disrespect it, but that is not our way. So thank you. And I'm just saying, like, I'm happy that um, I'm here and I'm happy that all of you are here. I might have messed that up a little bit. I'm trying to learn the language a bit, so if I did, I'm sorry. But I want to say that I noticed that with everything happening around the country and beyond Turtle Island, uh, there's a lot of people that um, are saying some really racist things. And, uh, and I'm not just saying it's, it's the non ongoing the non-natives that are. Like, I noticed on some of the flash mob um, YouTube videos that it's people that identify as natives, too, that, that are saying some pretty ignorant things, too. It's not, it's not just one side. 
And I think that we need to, you know, communicate to each other that, that, that racism is wrong. We know that. And uh, we can't promote that. It doesn't matter who we are, if we're, if we're black, yellow, if we're ongoing Hawaii, or if we're Irish. Um, you know, we can't, we can't promote that in, in, in Turtle Island. So I really want to tell people that, you know, try to, try to remain calm and give a... a <coughs> if someone's saying something ignorant to you, don't respond with anger. You know, try to respond with a good mind. And, and uh, we need the, this racism that, that, that's going on is unaccept, uh, unacceptable. And uh, we need to make sure that we're handling this in a good way. Because um, it really bothers me, you know, that, that, that people are saying the things that they say. And it might be that some people are not racist, they might be just ignorant, right? And I think there's a difference there. And, and I think a little education um, and telling people a little history and, and the truth of, of, of the history of Canada. Um, it might better that situation. So I wanted to just put that out there. Um, thank you to everyone uh, that, that, that came, Nyao um, Goa. Hi, I'm Toad. I'm here, I'm being charged by the guy over there and his prejudice protectors, Gary McHale. And uh, as you can see, I, I've been charged with assault. I did not assault him. I tried to look as intimidating as they did. And uh, I got charged, and now I got restrictions saying that I'm supposed to stay 100 meters away from his place of residence, his place of occupation, his place of religion, his place of education. And look at, he follows me all around bothering my people. Look at his group over there. Can they witness this? Do they see it? They even recorded their prejudice, and yet... But anyways, let that go. I'm, I'm here, I'm standing up for my law, the great law, and our law is to have a good mind. <laughs> so peace, man, to everybody. Everybody have a good mind, good heart. Thank you. This may look to you like it's a courthouse or some kind of court of justice, but it's anything but that. This is actually the site of the former Cayuga Longhouse. When the Cayuga people used to live in a town which coincidentally is called Cayuga, they lived here and this is the site of their longhouse, which was removed along with the, the people of Cayuga when they were forced onto the reserve and when this land was taken over in an act of ethnic cleansing. So that's something that we need to be aware of, this long history, this history of struggle which did not begin Today, it did not begin a few days ago. It did not begin with the Idle No More movement, but it has been going ongoing here for hundreds of years. And what is significant about this moment today, when I look around, and we had, I counted about 90 people here that came out to, to support Toad. And what is really significant is that we're seeing a unity here of Ongwahongwe and non Ongwahongwe people who are coming together to demand that this, that this farce that this colonial genocide, uh, that this, you know, that this illegal system actually be stopped and that, and that land defenders be respected, that Six Nations land rights be respected, that the two row be honored, and that the treaties be upheld. And I think that's very significant. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing that Idle No More is happening and I think we're at a, a historic moment where all people on this territory are recognizing that their rights and that, and that their interests are best upheld by upholding these treaties. And that's what we're struggling for, and that's what we're going to continue doing. As Dylan mentioned, the, the giant two-row that we uh, that was made for the April 28th march in Caledonia uh, is going to be out in, in, in St. Catharines on February 2nd. It's been up in Dundalk at the headwaters of the Grand River uh, to protest against the development of a sewage facility, which would affect everybody's water supply on the Grand River. And there's going to be many more actions like this coming up. So thanks to everybody for coming out, and we look forward to seeing you at future events. Thank you. I just want to remind everyone that, um, again, Gary McKill and his friends are here, and it's my opinion that, that they're here to cause trouble, and they want people to walk up to them and try to get some arrest and just cause trouble. So please, I ask everyone, everyone can come to their own decision on this. We all have our own minds, but just be aware that's why they're here. So don't give them the energy that they want. Um, we're here for, for, for not, not them. And let's not give them the energy and feed into their, their negativity. So I just wanted to remind everyone, please, let's, 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 let's stay peaceful and, and uh, avoid that crap. Yeah.
That means my name is Red Tailed Hawk. I am uh, from the Bear Clan and I identify myself with coming from the Creator and from Mother Earth. And if I was to say anything about about the people that are gathered here, my message from my people, from my one good mind and my one good heart, is that I come from the from the teachings of the seven grandfather teachings. And the seven grandfather teachings, one of the teachings that we have is love and respect. And so we are created out of love. The Creator had given us the love for life. He created us. And we are supposed to to to, to perpetuate that love for other people. So that includes all the nations that are on the land. All nations. We are supposed to love and to respect every single one of them, including the people. In our, in our teachings, our grandfather teachings, we talk about bravery. And bravery is facing the foe with integrity. And the way that I understand that is that when we go to war and we go to battle, that we pray for our enemies. We pray for those who are opposed against us. So that's what I would like to talk about. I would like to talk about that, that, that the people understand that we have teachings. We, have, we know inherently in our brains, in our minds, what is right and what is wrong. And we know that. So criminalizing people for, for standing up for the Mother Earth, that is wrong. You know, the way I understand, I mean, my Haudenosaunee friends and sisters, brothers and sisters, they can talk to you about the, about the great law of peace better than I can. But the way that I understand it is that, is that it governs everything. It governs the creator, the, creator the, the people. The way that I interpret it is that I have, a, I have an agreement with the creator, with myself, with myself and Mother Earth, myself. I have this two-role agreement with every single relationship on, on, in creation. And I have to respect that, and I have to, I have to honor that, and I have to feel this with love in my heart. And so that's why I'm here. I'm here to help and support the people that are standing up for this. And I perpetuate this love so that, that it, we have some prophecies in the Anishinaabek. And the Anishinaabek is talking about that the people, that, um, I, I identify myself as the Ashkamadzik. And the Ashkamadzik in our language is the new people of the seventh fire. We recognize that there is a crisis in, in Mother Earth. That, that the, the world is in crisis, we cannot pollute anymore. There's a tar sands going on, there's the Fukushima, you know, radiation that's coming along, there's people dumping toxic poisons in the water, there's, everything is going on. We recognize this and the people have to stand up and they have to defend the land. And that's exactly what, why we're here, is because people were defending the land. And that's, w w the way that I see it is, and the way that I understand the prophecies, is that all nations, every single person on earth has to come together. We have to unite, we can no longer be divided. We can no longer allow government policies to divide the people. That's what it is. We have to rise with one good mind and one good heart, and that's what it's all about. Doesn't matter where you come from, we are all indigenous to Mother Earth, and that's what it's all about. It's respecting the Creator, respecting Mother Earth, and uniting all people so we can light that eighth fire. That's what it's all about. My name is C. Carries the strength of two buffalo. Um, when it comes down to it, if all these people that are out on the other sides of those cameras watching this, I want you to understand that good mind. The good mind comes from a balance. When you hold a rock in the sun all day, that rock becomes very hot and it's hard to hold. When you have too much water, it's very hard to hold. That's The water is our women. The rock, the sun, that's what I meant. If you have too much of either one, you have non-balance. But if you have that hot rock, you put some of that woman medicine on there, the love, the understanding, the assertiveness of the men, you put those two together, you get a good mind. You have a good way to react. And I think that we are here as people here today and the people that are across the country, we are responsible. We're not responsible in a way that we're gonna pay our bills on time because that's not responsible. That's doing what you need to do. What responsible is, is we are response able. When we get attacked, when we get threatened, when we get names thrown at us, we're not gonna stand up and start throwing rocks because we are response able. We are able to come back with a good response. And my response is to say, for the challenges you put ahead of me, for the knowledge that I will gain from the challenges that I have come across and the challenges I will come across in the future, I thank you for all these challenges. These, this is just another challenge for us. 
we're going to walk through this. We're going to walk through this with our good mind, with the seven grandfather teachings, and we're going to walk through it remembering the seven generations that are coming ahead of us. I put my tobacco now, I offer some to the wind to carry that message to everybody, to all the people that are watching, and I give some to Mother Earth as well yeah. for taking care of us. Woo! Yeah. Woo! 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 Woo!